Here it is, as promised, the brand new Vintage Collection Mandalorian Razor Crest, brought to you from Hasbro via HasLab. For those who don't know, HasLab is like Hasbro's version of Kickstarter. They put something up on their site and they say, hey, we can make this, but we need 6,000 people to pledge to buy it, so you pay for it up front and then we'll make it. So the target Hasbro said they needed was 6,000 people. I think it ended up getting about 28,000 backers. So with a limit of two, there could be over 50,000 of these in production, but it's probably closer to about 30 to 35,000. Now, this, th that, this isn't a rare thing, but it's definitely not common. You'll never see it in stores. If you backed it, you get it. If not, there's now no way to get it except in the secondhand market, like eBay, Mercari, and from what I've seen, people are charging 800 to a thousand dollars. So, you know, that's up to you. But I got it, and I have to be honest, this is the first vintage collection thing in my collection. I don't own any vintage collection. I do black series, and the reason I broke down on this is for one, it's Mando. But two, it comes with all this stuff, which were like extras, since it got so many backers, that I feel like this is a nice enough display that you don't need a big vintage collection. Like you got the Razor Crest, Mando, uh, Grogu, IG-11, uh, you got like all kinds of stuff, and we'll get to that. But basically, this can be a display on its own, and you don't need a lot of other vintage collection stuff. I think I'm going to... Stick to Black Series, but uh, they just announced, and it's not HasLab, like this is going to be a retail release, uh, Boba Fett Jabba's Throne Room. So it comes with extras also, like uh, Bib Fortuna and stuff. So if they're going to keep going down the Mando path, I might I might pick up a few more vintage collection things. But for now, you know, this this is my only thing, and we'll we'll get to everything inside it. So... Without further ado, let's take a look at the box, and then I'll pop her open. So, I haven't even looked at it too much um, beyond just pulling it out of the outer shipping label, or uh, out of the shipping box. So, it's uh, obviously a Razor Crest, and it, it comes with some kind of like stand. So, over here you got Mandalorian Razor Crest, you got the Kenner branding on it. On the back, it's basically the same picture as the front, only it's black and white. Uh, and then over here, side panel, same as the other side panel. Now the top does have some cool stuff. It's um, it's basically pictures of the Razor Crest, like real pictures of this toy, but they're like super detailed, some really nice shots they did right there. So this is a nice touch, I mean, obviously, anyone who buys this and I did forget to say I think this was $350 but by the time you pay tax and shipping you might as well say it was a, about a $400 piece so you know anyone who buys this to open is probably gonna keep the box on the about on the bottom there's uh something pretty cool it's a Mandalorian it's another shot of the toy okay but the Jawas are like stealing parts of the Razor Crest, and it looks like Mando's watching them. So, awesome. Let's get it open. You got just one piece of tape here on the side, I think. I want to be really careful. Oh, nice, nice. It's actual styrofoam protecting it, not just cardboard. Let's see if I can carefully slide it out. Boy, it's in there tight. I haven't got it out at all. I'm going to stand up. Just maybe like a two person job? Nope, not because I don't have two people. There she comes.
Okay, I got it open without any damage to the box, and there's a lot going on here. For one, you'll see the instruction manual was laying on top, which is cool. And then on the back styrofoam, you have indents with these, uh, I'm guessing like the landing feet. And then here is what's most likely the base for it, just chilling in there. So actually I'm gonna get the base off now because I think that'll be something I wanna use here. Cool, cool. Get a nice base with the embossed, the Mandalorian on it. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna try to keep it as nice as possible, but I can't see it going in back in the box any day soon either, so that's okay. And then you got tape all the way around it, kind of like you bought a nice statue or something. So. Well, my camera shut off. I had to restart it, but I ended up taking out the pieces that are in here. I'm guessing it's landing gear, but not not totally sure. So we'll find out. And then two of the things are Balmy's trapped in carbonite. So those are cool. Let's fold her open. All right, <laughs> where where to begin? This is like Christmas time here. All right, so these are two of the extras, I believe, since it got so many crowd backers. This is a vintage, I, I think this is exclusive to just this Razor Crest, but it's obviously a little Grogu vintage collection. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm almost sure this is exclusive, so there's almost no chance I'm gonna open this. Um, his, uh, his little hovercraft that he uses actually has like a really shiny finish, which is really cool, like a metallic finish to it. And then he's got, I think, uh, Mando's shift knob that he was always stealing. So that's cool. And then we get. Also, I believe totally exclusive to this is an off-world Jawa. So, pretty cool looking. This, I'm guessing, is part of the base. We'll see what the instructions say. Another piece of those. We got two more carbonite bounties in here, which gives us a total of four now. There we go. Wiggle this off. Wow. <laughs> one of the one of the engines for it. Wow, that thing is huge. Like I said, I usually only do black series, but can you imagine how big a six, a one twelfth scale of this would be? Since, jeez, look how huge these are. So we got. Two guns, which obviously one for each side. We'll we'll get to those too as soon as I get this guy totally out of here. There's some more stuff hiding down here. Um, oh, cool! It's uh, basically an accessory pack. It's backpacks and extra weapons and stuff for probably just for like laying around the Razor Crest. And then he had his room with all the guns, so that's probably what that is for the razor crest would not be complete without mando 
I'll open them up. Uh, let's see. Looks like there's just a piece of tape holding it closed. Yep. So that's not a sealed bag or anything. You can just take him out. And he's actually got a really nice finish on him too. It's not quite as shiny as that um, Grogu's Hovercraft, but it is, I mean, it's definitely better than some of the other vintage collection Mandos I've seen. So that's cool. And comes with something here. I'm guessing it's probably his rifle. They went all out on the packaging for this. Um, it's actually really impressive. I can't think of any way this thing is getting to you damaged. I mean, maybe the box, but um, like the outer box. But all this stuff looks really secure. So you get Mando's jetpack in it. Cool. Uh, can slide his bandolier over and the jetpack just plugs in. Sorry, Mando. Getting them all balled up here. But, uh, so, okay. There's his jetpack on. You get his pistol. And you get his rifle. Jetpack seems a little bit finicky about staying in place, but probably not too bad. But yeah, I'll, I'll make him hold his stuff just for the sake of not losing anything. I'll give it to him for right now. So there's the Mando. There are a couple other things hiding below that. I'm going to put this on the couch and see what this is. Oh, that's just paper. So, that's actually everything in the styrofoam. This really is like opening like a, um, like a Christmas play set back in the day like when you would get like a Star Wars uh, kind of play set oh man the smell of a new toy this thing is much bigger than I gave it credit for, even even when I ordered it. I was thinking like about like this and just like really nice and detailed, but I mean man, it is it's freaking huge. So I'll show this centerpiece off. This is like the main the main quarters here, but um I mean, it has a beautiful, beautiful paint finish on it. Like, um, <clears throat> you get a little bit of ba battle damage on it, um, but it's still shiny. Um, now, this whole thing opens up, which is why I want to see what the instructions say. I don't want to force anything, obviously. So, if you got it like this, and you flip it upside down, Looks like that's how they're saying to put these on. And I'll probably mess all of this up. So, okay, there's a little, there's little doors here. Gotta be that, but I don't know how to 
get it. Oh, there we go. Basically, these just come out like that. This thing actually wasn't supposed to pop off, but that's okay. It just has little nubs and slides right back into there. Okay, there's one. It's just a nice hole for it to slide into. And make sure your doors are all the way open when you do that. And then you will get a little click when it goes into place. So you know it's uh, you know it's good. And then this thing angles about like this, which this is like super nice because you can have it without the landing gear on it. And there's panels that cover it. So it's not like you have some like big hole that looks stupid. Like you can see like this is a panel. And when you want to put the landing gear on, you slide that open and then you can put it on. So you can do either or and have like a really nice display. So, all right. That's that. Now we got it with landing gear on it. Up here, now these do have holes because you never want to have your Razor Crest without uh, engines on it, I'm sure. Line it up without looking at it. Boom, you get a nice click. Man, this thing is huge. I know I said that like a million times, but. It's like blowing my expectations right out of the water, man. All right. So there is that. Uh, now it's showing. There's some more stuff on the bottom. I don't know. Or no, maybe this is right here. I said I don't want to like force anything just for the sake of being on video so anything else I can I can figure out later it's not that big of a deal I do think it's telling me to flip it over again I mean, there's just there's lots and lots and lots of panels in this thing okay there we go that's how you open up the ramp into the ship so we got that there and then, um, okay what it's showing is somehow this whole thing comes off oh uh, there there we go okay so top panel comes out and then okay this comes out which is um been a while since I've seen season one, but I'm guessing like some kind of carbonite container. Um, it pops open. Oh, is this maybe like something he sleeps in? Because it shows Mando in it. Um, it's been a while since I watched Mando. Okay, but it opens up. So you got that. Then. Okay, so then it's showing the bottom, I think. So that's all that comes off of the top, maybe. It does look like there's actually more that pulls off here. What's this? Oh, wait. Wow, that's cool. Okay. So there's a button. Oh, awesome. So you hit the button, and now, oh my God, there's just panel after panel to pull off. Now you get the inside of the ship. So. On one side, you got that cargo net, lots and lots of stuff, lots of detail 
in there. Let me flip it around, give another close up. Oh my god, that's cool. Okay, so there's that. And then what it is showing is there's a door, which is his weapons locker. I don't know if I need to do that right now, but it's it's in here. Oh, it's way, way up in the back, which is super cool. There's another door down here that opens. So I'm not going to spend like too much time on this because otherwise with this thing, man, it would be like a two hour video, I think. These hangers up here are where you store the carbonite. So that's pretty cool. So you got four bounties and they slide around. And this really is like just like an old school playset. I mean, just got all kinds of moving parts and stuff going on inside of it. Got one more bounty to go. Now one more bounty to get. There's, there's a certain way. There's like a certain spot on here that you're going to clip them into to make sure it holds them. Now it looks good. Okay, so it doesn't hold them like that uh, securely. You can't be banging it around, but... You get the idea that your bounties are going to hang there, which is super cool. Also, you can mount them on the wall, it's showing. And you, got, you get like a nice instruction book with it. <clears throat> um, showing more panels that come off here. Um, guessing that's right there that might be on the bottom but there's like a gun turret in here wait 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 there it is okay so that panel comes out and Is, okay, there you just pull it up In there pretty firm it doesn't tilt or anything but get a cool little gun turret That's on the back of the Razor Crest uh, Oh boy, okay, so here's your ramp on the back, but there's also it shows a ramp on the side which is right here I'm just using my fingernails and it's that was just a panel but all kinds of panels come off of this thing like all kinds okay so there's the other ramp for the ship and then next to it there's a huge panel that comes out and that's like the side of the interior of the ship but once you do that now you have a full view of the inside of the ship so that's super cool cockpit lit just lifts right out so there's that and then it's just now it's just showing like more just panels you can remove to expose like parts of the engine and probably the hyperdrive and you know anything else but i'm just using fingernails and they pull out you know relatively easily and there's no no real 
chance of breaking them. I mean, it's, but it is plastic. So like the more you do this, you know, the less firmly it's going to grab. So, you know, if you're trying to display it, you want to get it how you want it and leave it like that and don't fiddle with it too much. Uh, so what do I do with Mando? Here he is. I'm going to take his weapons off him again. Give me a jetpack Mando. And I mean, one nice thing about the vintage collection is they still do have like really good articulation. Like you get knee, ankle, uh, wrist, like all those different, um, articulation points. So that's cool. So you can still put them in here. It's not like back in the day where you just have like straight legs and you know, you just kind of jammed him in. I mean, he actually fits in there really good, really well. Um, cockpit is super detailed and I'll, I'll spin it around and show it off here. I'm just trying to get him to seat real nice in there. There's a chair in the back. Two chairs, one for the child, I'm sure, but lots of little switches. You can't move the switches around. That's okay. I don't think anyone would really want to, but I'm going to try to get a good, solid view of it in there. Um, I mean, it looks good, along with everything else. Um, now the gun turrets, they go... Basically just on the front, just making sure um, put them on right. Looks like they go like this. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, get it in there. You hear that firm click? Oh, they're on ratchets, so you can tilt them. So, there's those. Get a nice hard ratchet joint so you can have it however you want it. More panels to remove. These are on the engine. It's showing. So, uh, you know, definitely don't want to force anything. But, okay, there you go. Boom, that pops off that pops off so like you can really have it exactly how you want it for display okay and then so here's the base here's the bigger plastic piece i'm just trying to follow along with what they have here the bigger plastic piece goes in you're going to hear a little click other side same deal, you're gonna hear a little click. Okay. And then, okay. It goes around this way. Okay, there's a hole in the bottom that this is gonna line up with. Okay. Uh, it looks like if you're going to do this, you want to take the landing gear off. So let's do that. At least the uh, rear, the rear leg of it. And just pull real hard. Watch your doors. And it should just come out. Now I found it, I feel the last time, but. Right there. 
There. There we go. Okay, so here it is. The Vintage Collection Razor Crest. I'll tell you what, I wasn't... I wasn't a total believer when I ordered this. I mean, I thought it was going to be pretty cool. I loved Mandalorian at the time this came out. Um, they hadn't blown up the Razor Crest in the show. Sorry, no, no spoiler alert. I do think he's going to get another Razor Crest just because of the way they talked about it when he was getting his Naboo Starfighter. I think he's going to get another Razor Crest. And it's going to have a way to dock the Naboo fighter into it. So he's kind of going to have both because he can't live in that Naboo starfighter. So um, I think that'll make sense. But anyways, I wasn't thinking this was going to be like as cool as it obviously is. Like it is so nice. Like. I'm super pumped I got it. I can't complain about it not being black series. Because, I mean, this thing... I mean, it's a it's right at two feet. So, for black series, it would have to be almost four feet. So, that is not reasonable. Uh, it's just... It, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it is really cool uh like i said it was 350 dollars but you might as well say 400 after uh, tax and shipping now they're going for 800 online i don't i don't think it's 800 dollars cool but i do feel like it was a good deal for the uh 350 i, I really do and that's you know that's saying a lot because there's a lot of stuff out there. You know, if you have $350 of disposable income, there's a lot of other stuff you can buy that is a great investment. So um, for me to say this is worth it, I don't I don't take that lightly. I mean, there's just a lot here. And beyond be there being a lot here, everything is done so freaking nicely. Like the paint, like... I would put this up here, up there with the um, Ultimate Collector's Edition Lego stuff. Like, in that, you know, it's expensive, but, like, this is this is a real display. Like, this is really cool. Like, this is something, you know, to build a collection around. Like, I, so I put it up there with that stuff. Um, I just, I don't see anything wrong with this like let me try to show the detail in here like the um just the top where that um pod comes out and i'm sorry i just can't remember what that pod was i don't know if he slept in it or what but um i mean there's like scoring in there it's like weathered like I mean, just everything about it is, like, super detailed. And um, HasLab won me over because, you know, not only are you not going to find this, this particular thing in stores, but you just don't find toys like this in general in stores. Like, this is a legit collector's-only piece. Um, and, you know, it's... I just don't... I don't think I'd pay too much over market price for it but obviously that's your call and you know if you want it get it i'm gonna figure out how to put like all of these panels back on because i think i'm just gonna display it like this i mean it's just it's just super cool like i'm like a kid on christmas so i'm rambling i know i'm sorry but this is the only time i'm ever gonna open a brand new HasLab Razor Crest. So, and all the panels go on like super nice. I don't think I'll be removing them too much in the future. Both 
both engines have that um, where you can pull off the panels on them to expose different parts. And just, just amazing. No, oh, well, I'll fiddle with it off camera, but you get you get the gist of it. You see what's going on here. Highly recommend it, guys. And if Haslab does something else, I'll definitely be on board with it. And I'm gonna get the uh, Boba Thre Fett throne room to go along with my Mando stuff. And there's even a little bit of blast effects like in the engine of it, so you can kind of see it like whirring up there we go any questions or anything i'll be happy to answer in the comment section um at least i'll tell you the best of my ability but um i can always take some more photos if anyone needs it so that's it Hope I did a, at least an okay job of explaining everything. I've never done like this kind of unboxing of this scale before. So hopefully you got some enjoyment out of it and uh, catch you next time. Hope everyone has a great uh, rest of the weekend. What little bit of it is left. Bye.